the parts of a typical cell and the functions of these parts. All cells have at least three components. The plasma membrane, also called the cell membrane, performs the following functions. One, isolates the cytoplasm or the liquid component inside the cell from the external environment. Two, regulates the flow of materials between the cytoplasm and its environment. For example, acquiring nutrients and expelling waste. And three, it allows interaction with other cells. In all living organisms, the genetic material is the deoxyribonucleic acid or the DNA. The DNA contains the cell's hereditary blueprint in which is stored the instructions for making all other parts of the cell and for producing new daughter cells. In eukaryotic cells, the DNA is contained in a separate membrane-bound structure called the nucleus. In prokaryotic cells, it is found in an area called the nucleoid and is not separated by membranes from the rest of the cytoplasm. The cytoplasm consists of all the materials inside the cell membrane and in eukaryotic cells outside the nucleus, which is itself contained by a membrane. The cytoplasm includes water, salts, and assortment of organic molecules including enzymes as well as proteins. The cytoplasm also contains a variety of structures called organelles. Each organelle performs a distinct cellular function. Chromosomes contain the DNA. Nucleus, membrane-bound container for chromosomes. Nuclear envelope encloses nucleus and regulates movements of materials into and out of nucleus. The mitochondria carries out the process of cellular respiration where chemical energy from food is transformed into energy molecule called adenosine triphosphate or ATP. Endoplasmic reticulum are extensive network of membranes that connect the nuclear envelope to the cell membrane. ER synthesizes membrane components and lipids. Ribosomes attached in the surface of rough endoplasmic reticulum and are also found in the cytoplasm. These are sites of protein synthesis. Golgi complex. It modifies and packages proteins and lipids produced by the endoplasmic reticulum. Vacuoles are a fluid-filled sac in the cytoplasm containing crystals, inorganic salts, sugars, and excess water. Lysosomes contain intracellular digestive enzymes. Let me describe the important role of the lysosomes. These organelles contain digestive enzymes enclosed in its membranous sac. Inside the cell, 
They fuse with the food vacuoles and digest the nutrients the cell contains with their enzymes. Also, the bacteria ingested by our white blood cells are also digested by the enzymes of the lysosomes. Moreover, the lysosomes can engulf and digest parts of another organelle, making its molecules available for the construction of other organelles, thus serving as recycling sites for other organelles. See how nature works? Amazing, isn't it?